guys, for Bullet Curve here. Um, this is part nine of the Rage Let's Play. Um, this is like fresh gameplay. Um, I just finished beating this guy. If you didn't see part seven, you need to go. I mean, I'm sorry. If you didn't see part eight, you need to go back. If you haven't seen part seven, then you need to go back a little bit farther. But yeah, I just beat this guy up. I had to shoot him in the brain a couple times. His brain is over here. But um, yeah, well, I just killed him, and now I'm going this way. I'm gonna go ahead and switch my guns real quick. And, because, I mean, I really don't want that rocket launcher out. As cool as it is, it's not all that great. So, let's go ahead and get out the good old assault rifle. Grab some of these things and just keep on moving. Alright. Um, okay, that's a little bit gross. There's a person right there in case uh, you guys probably can't see it. It's really dark down here, but... That's a person right there. We got some bandages. These are, oh, these are like medical supplies. And there's a skull right there. It's kind of difficult to see. There's an eye right there. And then over there, there's an eye. And then it's his nose, like right there. And there's his teeth. See, it's a skull. Anyway, so we're going to head over here. Nothing. We're just going further and further down. It's kind of. I feel like I could take out this guy with a crossbow. Okay, guys, we're gonna be really quiet, alright? Stay really quiet. Be like, okay, okay. Alright, just stay nice and quiet. Take him out. <laughs> Hello, goodbye. Oh my god, I can't move. Dead. Alright, that did not work as planned. Um, yeah, about that. Let's take out my sniper rifle again. <laughs> okay, okay, this definitely looks like where I need to be. Um, we got some, some medical beds going on here. Some electrical wiring and stuff. And crafting stuff. What the heck is this stuff? Like, it's steaming and, and gross. Like, I would I would not want to go to a hospital that has this growing in it. I mean, come on, guys. You need to, you need to get better at this. Oh, my God. Okay, this is pretty freaky. Not gonna lie, in case you can't go that way. Like, look at this. What is this running down the, the walls, literally? Just kind of move carefully here. Don't want to. Hello. Bye. Don't startle me like that. Jeez, oh, hello. Ah, uh, dude. No. Did I kill him? Oh, I did. I thought he'd like run and hid, waiting for me to come out and look for him. See if I could, or see if he could kill me when I popped out. Alright, um. I feel like I should be able to pick those up because they're very colorful. And usually, very colorful items are items that you can pick up. But apparently not. Look at these broken escalators. Come on. You guys need to pump up your standard here. Like, oh my god. Who lets this grow in a hospital? What is your guys' call? Wow. I want to speak to your advisors. Oh. That must be your advisor right there. Now I can understand why your hospital looks like this. This is a serious medical- Oh my god, medical issue, I can't see a thing. Your advisor needs to calm down. I simply only want to offer constructive criticism. What is your problem? Bank. That looks like the, um... Oh, I can't think of it now. Smash Brothers logo a little bit. I mean, it's, I know it's not the same shape and everything, but just, it reminds me of it, except for the blood. There's not, there's no blood in Smash Brothers. There should be. That would make it a little bit more interesting. Like Mario blood. Ooh. All right, let's go check out up here. How is it? What the heck? I was. <laughs> we're in a wasteland and it's snowing out there. Like that's not sand. That is snow. It's white. Look at it. But there's snow outside. But we just came from like a sandy environment. Like what the heck? We're on a magazine on table or a survival book? Just kidding. That's what it said. Um, nothing over here. Nothing back in there. All right. So I guess we gotta go this way. Underneath the nice and tasty 
um, hospital sludge. Just kidding. Like, look at that. Like, that's so gross. Like, oh my gosh. I really want to know what, what caused this. Like, it's so bad. I'm sure I'm going to find out by the end of this uh, mission. Hopefully, you're dead. Yeah. I'm getting kind of tired of these guys right here. They're kind of making me mad. But just start using wing sticks on them every single time I see them. Oh wow, like, this is this is like revolting. Look, oh my god, it, it's almost like it grew out of the walls and they couldn't contain it. Or I mean, the the walls like just kind of busted out with this stuff. Like, look at that. That is crazy. Oh my god. This. Whew. Just more blood running down the walls there. And you come in here, find a jar of mayo on the counter. That's probably what started all this. That's Miracle Whip right there. Nobody likes Miracle Whip. That's what happened. Alright, um. Okay, so this was like just like a little safe room in here. This would have been a good stopping point if I could have made it here for a. 20 minute mark, but it's all good, it's all good. This reminds me of Dead Space, even though it's like an like an MRI thing or a PET scan area or something like that. Um, it reminds me of Dead Space, that like the needle in my eye thing. Turret barrel, hmm, interesting. Alright, we got some more mayo jars right there, yum. See, the problem with this hospital is that they were using mayo to cure people, and, and that quite frankly doesn't work. I mean, you can look right in there and tell. Wait a minute. That door has shut behind me. Which means... Um... Where do I go? Where do I go? Do I... Ah, there we go. Defibrillator upgrade. No? Oh, no. So that was the power of the room. God, be kidding me. Oh my god. I keep hiding in all these little tiny confined spaces. Like, it's starting to drive me up a wall here. Literally, like, I'm gonna have to go up the wall if I'm gonna live. <laughs> that let's go and pick up whatever he has these guys are so gross like the heck <laughs> okay so well now I know where I can leave from um, that's interesting that must be like some futuristic thing that right there looks like a um well there's not an error there it just kind of a circle okay, we got a paint can we're gonna move downstairs um wow the detail in these maps is so creepy. Like, look at that. It's just like busting out. Like, is that, is that like some kind of spinal cord for whatever's growing in it? Like, what the heck? Got some, some gears. Can I pick, pick that up? No? Yeah, there we go. Um, wow. Nice little alcove right here that I can pick some more crap up in. Got some cloth rags, RC car kit, and giant hammer. Okay, okay, I like I like this. This looks like where I've already been, even though I don't think it's not. It's not. Just kidding. Okay, well, let's just get out of here because this is getting intense. I got what I needed, and that's that's good enough for me right now. No, I'd love to go back, but whew, that was that was that was something else. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was something else. Okay, so now I think we're going. Yeah, we're going back to the doctor, and he's gonna make me a new defibrillator. I don't know what it's gonna do. Maybe it's gonna make me last longer. Maybe it recharges faster, which would make the game easier. I don't know. Maybe you can do it endlessly, which means you could never die. Uh, theoretically, 
I don't know. We'll find out in about 10 seconds. Once I'm able to drive over there. Right, so, is my car right where I left it? It is. I'm just gonna jump in here and get it out of here. Hello. Okay, so, um, trying to think of something to talk about, like, I, I've, I've put up literally so many videos that I, even if you guys, if I ha do have comments yet, I don't know, because I'm literally just recording, editing, uploading, and going to school, like, that's all I'm doing right now. Uh, there he is. You made it back in one piece. Now, just stay still, and I'll get that defib upgrade installed. Shouldn't oh, hurt. Okay. Too much. Oh gosh. Oh no. <sighs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay. Double okay. Defend? There you are. Now you have twice the resurrection power. And I do believe that you will need it. Remember, the authority is ruthless. Alone, it is only a matter of time before they get you. Your future will lay ultimately with the resistance. But that isn't the path we need to take now. All right, I've finished analyzing the Feltrite sample you brought. What the bandits are trying to do, successfully it would seem, is refine the Feltrite into an explosive accelerator. Very Wonderful. dangerous in their hands. This piece has been neutralized, but you best bring it to Clayton. He needs to know what he may be facing. Okay. Take it to him. All Come right. Again soon, my friend from the past. <laughs> All right, we'll see you. Look at it. He has his toes just kind of hanging there. All right, here we go. So we're taking the mineral sample, or taking the information and the mineral sample back to the guy that is in town um alright here we go um ba do ba do ba do ba do ba do ba do do ba do ba do ba do ba do ba do ba do so yeah I guess I can ask you guys some questions like I don't know no, I'm just kidding I don't know about that I'm to play the game. I'm to play the game. Yeah, let's jump in here. Boost it up. I really need to race and get some uh, updates for my cars. But I mean, personally, since I don't think that. Um, huh. I don't think that. Watching people race is any fun. I don't. I don't want to make you guys watch me race unless it's like an important race in the game. Then of course, yeah, I'm gonna make you watch me race because I mean it's it's part of the campaign. But if it's just like extra, just to buy upgrades and stuff for your car, like if you don't need those, they just make it easier. To use. It's more convenient for you. I, I mean, I'll, I'll do some racing on the side and I'll explain what I do. So you guys like, whoa, how did he get? Nuke nukes on his um, ATV and stuff like that. And I'll tell you before I drive it and everything. Like, oh yeah, guys, I race and got this and and woohoo, like that kind of stuff. But yeah, um, I'll do that. And ooh, I need to go and see if I can buy some ammo or maybe a gun from the guy. But I bet I'll have to wait till I get to the resistance before I can see if I can buy a new gun because it seems like there's gonna be. Um, Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. I'm tired. <laughs> it seems like there's gonna be a lot of guns in this game, even though like they're they're slow coming. Like it looks like there's gonna be a lot. Is what I'm saying. Now, so we're gonna go back into Wellspring. Unfortunately, there are some reports of price gouging, hoarding, and unfair business practices. 
business is. The character of this town is its people, and we must all work together to make it stronger and more attractive to outside traders and travelers. Uh -huh. Remember that when one of you is successful, all of us are successful. Working together, we can continue to build a safe and prosperous town. You know, there's the Italian says that. Mm -hmm. Somebody press the M button, seriously. So my selection? Yes, I would care to browse your selection. Care to trade? Um. I have $30. I'm gonna sell some stuff to you, dude. Huh. At least I'll have these. That's very good. Price. Known to affect metabol met metabolic rate when properly synthesized. Chart barrel. These look like things that I need. The crystals. I'm just going to hang on to those because I can't get much money for them anyway. Small objects. Books. Beer bottles. Food cans. Oh, pinkies. There's like Twinkies in it. A box of Twinkies is 50 bucks in the end. 140 years in the future so guys start saving your Twinkies if you have them in your house because you can make a profit on them good day to you in the future and I want to trade I have all the all best right. supplies light upgrade to your current arm I'm really feeling like I need that so I'm gonna go ahead and get it and buy some wing sticks and then I guess I'll just get some of this stuff get some more of these and some more shotgun and I'll just pop my pistol out. Off. Doing business with you. you too, sir. Alright, so we're gonna head off to Mon Capitan, aka the sheriff. Attention, good people of I don't speak uh, French. It is my French. pleasure I to announce a recent trade agreement with the I don't speak French. I don't know what I just said. I think it's my captain, but I'm not sure. But yeah, so we're going to the mayor. Okay, so showing what we found. Hello. Very mayor interesting and very troubling. Thank you for helping us with this. Mm -hmm. Take this for your troubles. Two hundred dollars. What? Hear that? Ah, it's the well alarm again. That Carlson's always jumping the gun, thinking something's wrong. Probably nothing. Maybe you wouldn't mind checking it out for me, hmm? Okay. Where's Attention the well master? It is my great pleasure to announce that the travel restriction north of the city has been lifted. But please keep in mind that the wasteland is never completely safe, and that you should always be on guard for wandering man. I can hear it. I'm trying to find it. Hello. Is this it? I bet it's not. I'm just gonna go up here anyway. Yep. It's not. Um really? chickens that have been skinned on their heads that makes absolutely no sense like the, they had their beaks are skin colored anyway I guess we gotta go outside uh, into the wasteland I take my Caprino this time so I can get some speed out of this because as fun as the 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 Doom Buster was it needs it, it needs some a new engine so I can get places faster. So we're gonna take the Caprino out. Wrong screen. Wasteland. And we're gonna head out and check up on why the alarm was going off. Alright, and um I don't know why. The rage icon has like a the anarchy A inside of like a bullet hole in the word rage. But if you guys maybe have some some input on that, like why it's why it has that, uh, I'd love to see it in the comments. Um, see what you guys think. And yeah, um, here we go. Heading out towards where are we even going? Where where is his office? What the heck? Put his back inside. Okay, well we know that the the dude's office isn't outside. We just gotta figure out where his office is. Um, like I feel like this town is so easy to understand, and yet at the same time it's it's really confusing because you think you know everything is, but you really don't. Um, 
well sprain. So I guess they have a a spring or a, a well of spring water, maybe. Do you actually do this? Or is it spring water? Or I thought it'd be like well water or something. Not whale, but like W E L L. That's it's steering wheel. Okay, so there's not something I can go in. Um, not there. Right here? Nope. What, did, what does that say? Drunken. Pretty sure it says drunken, but I'm not positive. Alright, um. No. What is that? That's an old ad that says stop. Hello. Alright, is this it? No. He's. Seraphim is still looking in the front of this car at literally nothing. Okay, anyway. Think you're up for a little. Is this it? Nope. Is this it? Nope. There's nothing else over here. Um Cheers, friend. We'll keep searching then. Warren, Jake. Nope. 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 Mm, nope. Is this it? Oh, nope. Nope. I could just check the sheriff. You never know. Nope. Well. Nope, nope. Nope. I can hear it when I'm up here. Is it right here? Nope. I'm gonna be mad if it's just like right next door or something. You're kidding me. Is that really it? Oh my gosh. You've gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh. Hell, this situation is turning critical. You're that critical. Gotta be dealt with fast. So, oh, my name is Carlson, and I manage the well. I was down there inspecting some equipment when a clan of bandits burst in and started ransacking the place. I barely made it out alive. Now they're threatening to poison our water supply. Know what that'll do? Strangle the town. Can't let that happen. Hell no. We need these bandits dealt with. And it looks like you're our only hope. Okay. Good. Stop whoever is doing Well, guys, um, we're at the 23 minute mark. I've got some and I you. A I'm thinking. Is enough to stand in any water, shoot the water. Now, go okay. And good luck. All right. So we're at the 23 minute mark, and I think I'm going to call this the episode. Uh, this has been episode 9. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, because, I mean, 9 episodes and you haven't subscribed. I mean, obviously, you're coming back for a reason. Um, don't forget to comment below if you have any ideas for me or if you want to just say something. Say, hey guys, or hey dude, I appreciate your videos. I love to see those. Like, it really makes me feel good. I, I like to see that. Um, thank you guys for watching. Full Bullet Curve out.